Hey everyone, on this episode of Pot X Makeup, we're gonna go Barbie, as you can see. So stay tuned and I will upload how you can do this makeup for Halloween. First thing you're gonna do when you're opting to be Barbie is to put foundation on your face. Now, I know I always do my eyes first, but foundation for me this week because I'm gonna focus mainly on my eyes and so I'll leave that to last. I'm just gonna go put my foundation on my face and then I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so now I've applied my foundation so you can see it's a bit more sort of plain and a little bit not finalized or anything like that at all. I've used the Cryolan Ultra Foundation 3. Now, this is perfect for anyone looking from a light coverage to a uh, very heavy coverage. I'm opting for a medium coverage at the moment just so you can see on camera what I'm trying to do. Um, it also comes with its own um, contour and highlighting um, cream. So it's very handy to have, especially if you're a on-the-go person such as myself. I've also used my NARS concealer in caramel to conceal under my eyes and over my eyelids as so. Barbie's face is really, really set over, like it's almost like that. So we're gonna put some contouring on. So as you can see, I've applied the contour a bit heavier than my usual. This is because she has exaggerated features, like no one looks like that. Well, except for one girl who lives in Russia, but no one looks like that in real life. So I'm exaggerating my features to show that I am an oval face. I added some highlighter as well to go along and it's really, really strong. Now with Crayola and pigments, you gotta be careful. As you can see, that's, that's already as shiny as it's gonna get. So it looks like travel makeup. I'll blend that through, blend everything through with a beauty blender. Um, just stamp it up a bit and then just dab it on and when we come back, this will all be blended and we'll proceed to adding a bit of gloss, oh sorry, a bit of balm on our lips just so it has a bit of color tint to start with. Everything's blended through as so you can see it's really, really exaggerated and that's the whole point of being Barbie is your features has to be exaggerated. So keep blending until you get the perfect balance through. Now we're gonna proceed to put some lip balm on our lips just cause you need a base to set your color in. We're going with really, really light pink, similar to my hair tie over here. And we're just gonna go with Revlon Color Sticks Fuchsia Libre. And I'm just gonna apply that real quick to my lips as so. Now I'll leave that to dry. And when I say leave that to dry, completely leave it alone until you get to that bit. So now we're gonna so to start off our Barbie look, we're gonna grab a green color on the lid just to complement on the leaves on my top over here. And the olive green I'm gonna opt for is this green right here from my broken palette from Cryolan. This is the Cryolan palette in olive. Now it's gonna set us a good base to work with. Now you grab your E70 brush from Sigma or any um, lid brush that you can find gentle tap and just apply that color on your lid like so so as you can see the greens already there and just fill on the creases through now don't go over the line your crease line over here we're gonna fill that up with another color in a bit then after that you can grab another color I like using this sort of emerald color right here. That is called the Shimmering Emerald from Elizabeth Arden. And just grab another brush. This is... Just let me grab another brush for you guys. Alright, this is the large shading brush, eye shading brush from Sigma. The E55 brush. Let me just show you guys again because I kind of flailed there a bit. So that one. Just grab a bit of that emerald and tap it at the top of the olive that you have started with. So you can see it's more greener now. More highlighted and pigmented green, which is good, which is what we are looking for. Okay. Then grab your blender, get a giant round brush or a face blender, and just blend that through. Before we do, before we proceed with doing this on my shimmer, we need a secondary color here. Now, Barbie's, think about it, Barbie's eyes are really like far back that it just 
pushes her eyes to be big, which we were trying to get. So, grab a darkest brown color from your palette. I am using this dark brown matte from Cryolan. I think it's called Desert or Sahara. I can't remember which one. And just like gently tap it and bring it on your crease here. So sort of draw a line in your crease like so. Brush and blend through, grab your round brush, and blend that part on. Now, we need a bit of pink. Barbie loves pink. I mean, I guess I can say I love pink because I'm wearing pink lipstick and I'm wearing pink braid. So we're also going to match this pink on this little flower that's on my shirt right now. And um, we're just going to head and going to grab our small round brush. So this is one of the other brushes I've been holding on for my Makeup Academy days. And we're going to grab this sort of combination of pink from this palette over here. Um, still from Crayola. I think one is called Coral and one is called... Um, I think it's just one's called Coral and one's called Red. So, Otherwise, if you don't have these colors at home, use your blush. Because it's pink. <laughs> use your blush and you can just like, use this color on your lid. So what we're going to do is from outside, we're just going to build that color going in. Don't go until you're uh, brow bone over here. Just make sure you cover this area just underneath the brow bone with those two color combinations. Do the same for the other side. Now use your big round brush and just blend those harsh lines in. Kind of want it to fade out at the same time. We're gonna introduce some glitter on your lid because who doesn't like glitter, right? So we're gonna use two of my favorite roll-on shimmers at the moment. One is by both of them are from NYX actually. One is called Olive and one is called Glamour. Just this one right here. And we're gonna introduce that olive color. So it's a roll-on, so just like gently roll it on your eyes like so so you can see there's a bit of shimmer in that do the same for the green color you really want to make your lids pop as you can see here color as you need then bring back some of that pink lost adding it that color in like so it's a nice little addition of the green in that lid I'm just gonna fluff it up with my fluffy brush this is the Sigma tapered blending and just sort of pat that on like so Apply more color if needed. I'm mostly applying it at the center of my lid just so you get that nice little shimmer happening in the middle of your eye. Apply a little bit of liner on as close as your lid as um, eyelash line as possible. My, my liquid eyeliner is from Sephora and this is their black eyeliner. grab a white pencil this is from models prefer innocent white call pencil and because you want your eyes to be big you want to line your waterline to just give it that extra sort of doll effect which is what you're aiming for for becoming a human doll just go ahead and line your waterline like so as you can see you can already tell the difference that one eye is bigger than the other
making you look like a doll. You're starting to look like a doll as you go along. Now, we're gonna apply some um, eyebrows to our lovely little look over here. And we're gonna start off with some Anastasia Beverly Heels Dip Brow Homemade. that brown flake action happening as such so to finalize off our look we're gonna put on some mascara now this is the mega wild volume mascara from max factor and they're not kidding when they say it's actually a mega wild it's actually up there on the wild scale of things so we're just gonna curl our eyelashes um our eyelashes this is by the magnificent kevin alcoin bless and it just curls all kinds of lashes anything in between would recommend investing in a good eyelash curler So, and just coat every strand of eyelash on your eye, like so. I like using um, disposable mascara wands if I'm working with my eyelashes because I can hold them like a pencil and I can be more precise about my application. Which is really happening right now. You can't see that. I'm doing the same for the bottom lash line because you want to give yourself that doll effect. So having mascara on your lower lash line will make um, will make it sort of your eyes more wide. So we have our mascara on, we have our eyes on. Now it's time to work on our contouring. Now Barbie, as I've mentioned earlier, has very sharp contours on her face. Just because, you know, she's a doll and she can get away with it. But if, but if you're doing that on a daily basis, it looks a bit too much. So we're going to do it for Halloween, just for this special exclusively. So I'm just going to grab my bronzer. This is from NARS and it's called the Casino. Bronzer, just grab your angled large contour brush F40 from Sigma and just start contouring your face like so. So now apply your highlighter on your face. As you can see, that's like very exaggerated, so especially around the nose area because you need that sort of masking happening on your face. Then, what you do is you grab your MAC Cheeky Bronze in AA3 and just put yourself through a lot of glitter. Highlight on areas like so here. Such, so you have your nice little highlighting contouring effect. Now, as I was saying before with exaggerated features, Barbie's very well known for that what we're gonna do is gonna apply blush just dropping up here and then adding it up here now why would you do that just to mix with that pink at the top bring it across the lashes so it's the same colors that you use in your lid gently apply to your cheeks and smile so you can see where the tops are slightly apply the across Now, once that's done, you can now apply your lips through. So, earlier we've used some of our Revlon, Revlon um, sticks. Now what we're going to do is, because that's dry, straight through and it's already moisturized my lips, I'm just going to go ahead and apply our lip color. Now, first we're going to start off with some lip liner. And this is called the Models Prefer Infinite Color Lip Liner in, in Forever Pink. So I'm really going to go full on pink today. And just line your lips as so. Well. 
couple touches to our look is to add a bit of eyelashes now make sure it's the over exaggerated eyelash that you need so this one's right here are like really really long much longer than my eye and you're done so this is your basic barbie look and you can rock this for halloween or if you just want to look really really girly for one evening now thank you for watching guys um comments feedbacks below and if you have any suggestions for any more videos please let me know i'm more than happy to acknowledge them for you all right i'll see you next week bye